Saturday night and little old me without a date. He's been dreaming of me. Could have been a contender if he'd only had the guts. Sometimes the best girls are left out in the cold. Beauty can be so intimidating to a man. But don't worry about me. I'll find someone. For some, love might best be found in a place that lies far from the beating hearts of the real world. It's a place even deeper inside us that holds the secrets of who we really are. Let me show you how to get there. Here to chat? You're very beautiful. Get lost. Don't do this to me. No, wait. Too tired. You are online 12 hours, 21 minutes. Recommended exposure to VR is no more than five hours. I know, I know. All I need is a little sleep mode. <sighs> How come you ran off? I thought we were having fun at the party. You were having fun. I was miserable. <laughs> so, you ditch me to spend the whole night in the cyber world? At least I don't 
treat me like shit. And there, people are kind and gentle. What? You got some cyber sweetheart? Or what, you just buzzing off with any avatar that comes along? You wouldn't understand. Oh, you damn right I don't understand. Nobody walks out on Jake. <laughs> ah, but hey, there's no reason to be upset. We can still see to it this evening isn't a total bust. Yeah. Go on. It's a present. You'll like it. A free skin job. How sweet of you. I just want to make you happy. I know it can really perk up a gal's self-esteem to get a makeover now and then. <laughs> How cute. You want a little plastic girly doll to play with. Maybe they can remove that chip off your shoulder. I don't get it. I give you everything you want. Fancy clothes, jewelry, the condo. All I ask in return is that you be on my arm at certain social occasions. I'm sick of being your plaything, Jake. I'd rather die. You know, it's a shame a thing of beauty like this should go to waste. If only there was some way to get rid of the bitch inside. Get out of here, Jake. I don't think I ever want to see you again. You shouldn't be thinking at all, you dumb broad. You should be grateful. I could have any woman I want. Then hire one of them. This job sucks. Good night. If you want to play games on your little toy, go ahead. We'll see how good you really are. <laughs> Resume program. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I'll log on again tomorrow. Same time. Listen. If you really meant what you said about leaving the real world, there may be a way. It's called a brain scan. I shouldn't be telling you this. It's too dangerous. No, please, tell me. I, I want to know. Some kind of war hero? The heroes all died. I'm just a survivor. What can I do for you? I hear you're the best VI in the business. I hear you wrote the code on the neural net. Uh, some of it. I don't get much walking traffic. Yeah, big surprise. Well, uh, this thing requires a delicate touch. Pretty girl. Yeah, my fiance. She died two weeks ago. Nasty accident. I'm sorry, but... I don't work in the real world. My practice is strictly virtual. Yeah, see, that's the thing. She created an avatar to keep me company when I do business on the net. And, well, now that she's gone, I want it deleted. And it doesn't want to be deleted? That binary bitch has been causing me some, uh, embarrassment. What does this avatar look like? It keeps changing, hiding out. Last I heard, it was hanging around a place called Charlie's. Oh, I know it. You sure she's dead? You know the consequences of deleting an avatar when it's in use? No. Do tell. They say it fries the user's soul, renders it a blank slate, no more feeling than a lump of clay. You don't say. I'm running a search for your fiancé's proxy, but it could take a while. In the meantime, we can do some recon. Is this what you do all day? Not much of a social life, huh? <laughs> What's that? Proprietary neural net search software. You wrote this? You got an avatar? It just coded one. Plug me in, man. Yeah. 
Nice suit. Shark skin. I hired you to track a program. Let's go. It's here somewhere. I can smell it. You're one of those bleeding hearts who thinks programs have feelings. They're very sophisticated code. I don't give a shit. I want that bitch erased. You got it? Take your goddamn money, mister. I got no business with you. You fat fuck. I don't need you. I'll take this and erase her myself. <laughs> I got you now, baby. Subject identified. Alice Kerchief. Is she dead? Negative. Shit, call her. Warn her to check out. Subject access is blocked. Attempting to break in. There's a marker for you in net sector 3000. Take me there. Still looking for that rogue avatar? You see her? She came back. Left you this. Security locked. <laughs> Come on, baby, break it. Code established. I can't believe you brought Jake here. Was it all just a setup? Then why don't I believe it? I don't know if I can trust you, but if you really meant what you said, then take the T1 to System Central mainframe. <laughs> the system and deletes unused file fragments. It's too dangerous to hang around here. I can't. I'm fading fast. Can you get in and run diagnostic on subject human? Accessing system. 
Houston, Alice Kerchief. Subject human is code blue. Alice, hear me. You gotta cut loose or you'll die. Now pull the plug. No, it's better this way. All he wants is my body. Warning, defrag program running. Can you crack it? Negative. Encryption exceeds NSA specs. <laughs> I need more bandwidth. Use reserve power and double the clock speed. Engage. Clock speed maximum. something for you. Oh, yeah. Just the way I like it. Shit! What's going on? Shit! Shit! God damn it! Shit, you bitch! You can't do this to me! What a shame. <laughs> oh, well, that's the bricks, kiddo. But uh, hey, there's plenty more where she came from. Hello? Donna. Yeah, it's your main man, Jake. <laughs> Jake? Where have you been hiding? Well, as it just so happens, I'm free tonight. Good night. It worked. It worked. It's okay. Our programs are running. How do you feel? Wonderful. There was this flash of light. What happened? Brain scan. A program I wrote years ago, but I never had the guts to use it until I met you. So we never have to go back to our real bodies? Never. It takes a true connection to spark in each of us that special glow. Some say it's a delusion. 
a digital dream. But is it always the masquerade it seems? Or could it be a brave new world where people are judged solely by the beauty of their character? You were incredible. What did I tell you? Raven's never without a date for long. The name's Raven. La Raven to you. And this is my crib. The Roost Social Club. Ask any cabby the way. It's deep right on the border of El Barrio and Uptown. Right between poverty and wealth. Mind and matter. Good and evil. Though these days, those words don't have much meaning. The roost is what you might call a speakeasy. But nothing's ever easy here. Everything's got a price tag on it these days. And good help is so hard to find. Just ask me, hermano, hermano Montillo. The fattest conguero this side of the equator. Everyone moves to the beat his hands pound out. A talented boy, that mano. But even talent means a little love and support. Ladies and gentlemen, give the boys a hand. They're going to need at least one when this one's over. I'd look for another queen. She belongs to Big Vinny. Yeah, yeah, this whole town belongs to Big Vinny. I'm just making her dance, baby. Yeah, well, just watch your hands. That was some heavy dancing, mommy. Looks like you were trying to call up some spirits and shit. And who are you? My name is Armando Mantillo. They call me Mano because of my hands. <laughs> Don't worry about that, mi vida. I like it when they bleed. Ah. Oh, they call me Red. Can I call you Red Beans? That's what I felt like eating when I saw you dancing. Come visit me. I work after hours at the gym, Rami. Huh? What's Big Vinny gonna say? Hey, Big Vinny doesn't owe me. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a ver, Red Beans. We'll see. I guess we will, Mr. Mano. Starting to happen for 
on me! Mano, my man! You missed your appointment this week. Big Benny missed you, man. You know how he feels about you, papi. I hope you wasn't making time with Red. He wouldn't like to hear that. I wouldn't like to hear that. Mira, tell Big Benny I see him after they set, okay? <clears throat> You're not going to make the set, manito. <laughs> Where the fuck is Beanie? I want to talk to Big Beanie. Don't worry about Big Beanie. He has to take care of this and we're gonna take care of it. Stevie, the hands. The hands, Stevie? What the, what, what the fuck are you staring like that? What you doing, you arithmetical maricon? Hey! Maybe we just take the hands for payment. Stop, stop joking, man, okay? You don't need the hands. Wait, 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 I don't know. I don't know that you uh, sure can make the lady stay there. Oh, okay, okay, look, look. <laughs> Guys. I do the next delivery for free, okay? No good, man. You fucked up the last delivery. Most of it went on your fucking nose. Hey, puta! You assholes are bluffing. You can cut off my hands. These hands make more money for Big Benny in one night than you guys bring in in a fucking year. You cut him off and he'd kill you. Me oyes? Go on, cut him off. Te atrevo, maricón. I, I dare you, dickless, two left, lead footed orphan that burst. <laughs> Look so good, Stevie. What's wrong, pal of mine? The hand. What hand? Mono's hand. The fuck you talking about? Mono's hand. They uh, they they uh, they ran off just like that. Where's Mono? Still in the warehouse. He got me mad, and his hands got me mad, and why isn't he banging on his bongo drums and making us more money? I uh, I chopped off his hands. What? He, he called me a, 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 a rhythmic. You are a rhythmic, you asshole. Ever seen yourself dance? But what do you care? You didn't have to chop off his fucking hands. You guys were supposed to find my lost merchandise, not damage more of my assets, you freak. I swear to you, Stevie, if you want to breathe another breath, you better go find those hands, you fuck! Next Friday, those hands better be back on Mano's arms, because I got a shitload of customers coming to see him play. <laughs> It's okay, shh, shh, shh. It's me, Red Bean, baby. It's me. I, I dream my hands were gone. Ah! I was gonna pay that fucker. <laughs> I swear I was gonna pay him in full. And then I was gonna go somewhere else to start afresh. Vinny sent Stevie to find the hands, so you just relax. Negrito, chulo, mi vida, until the hands show up and Vinny calls for you. Moronga, he couldn't find his own pecker. 
Hey, what's with this Benny? Why can't you call him Big Benny like everybody else? I just can't see that big, sloppy, nasty, fat, greasy thumb cabron touching you. Let's just say that I never leak blood off his greasy thumbs, okay? Uh, I ain't even got no thumbs! They're out there, somewhere! We gotta go looking for them. We could try the chop shops. Well, we better do it soon. If those hands are left free for too long, they're gonna go crazy! They gotta have their music, mija! They got to play! <laughs> Hey man, stop it! That's a genuine Carlos Santana from 1998, man! I told you there'd be hell to pay. Those fucking hands miss Mono. Why the hell can't you catch up with them, dickhead? Boss, I gotta leave. What kind of a bead is a three-day-old newspaper? You stupid son of a jackass bitch! You, go visit that Bruja bitch that does all that voodoo shit. You better get Nano and those hands back together. Fast. Okay, boss, I'm on it. Priced on a bun. My door. Big Vinny sent me. Ah, I never seen you. When did you start working for Big Vinny? Uh, that doesn't matter. Where are the hands? <laughs> Sound a little desperate there. Sounds like Big Vinny is going to feed his pit bulls if somebody doesn't come up with a pair of the most beautiful hands you've ever seen. Oh, ever will see. Hands are hands. Now let's go find them. Ah, not that easy, baby. When Mano was a kid, his mother came to me. She had dreams for her baby. Paid me crazy money to ensure his future. All the music lessons in the world couldn't produce a pair of hands like I did. Now, where were the hands last? Uh, Latin rhythm music store. Ah, uh, not anymore. Work for me, Yoruba. They just off Elry at the Escobar Social Club in Brooklyn. We got a lot of ground to cover. That little computer could tell you all that. Hmm, well, it's not telling me why someone would chop the hands off the best conga player in New York City. Feels like someone might have a complex. <laughs> you love fingers, baby. Shut up, lady. And let's go find those hands. Or else we'll both be in trouble. Chivo que rompe tambor con su pellejo pala, baby. What'd she say? The goat who breaks the drum will have to pay with his skin. But this goat's hands are too big to hold a chicken leg. Uh-huh. Stevie Cannoli. <laughs> Sicilian born in New Jersey. Raised in East Harlem, Pleasant Avenue. Always wanted to be a piano player. I could never figure out the rhythm. His hands... Okay, 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 so you know me. Now can we go look for the hands already? Those hands are a powerful tool. A tool? Don't worry. The hands will come to us. You just need a little confidence, love. I have all the confidence I need. So why do you get so scared when I get close to you? You're not getting close to me, you don't flatter yourself, lady. I'm touching you, and you don't even know it. Hey, right, whatever you say, you know. <laughs> See how you fidget as I get close to you. Hold your horses, lady. You were hired to find Mano's hands. Not to get close to me. Can't you see why Vinny sent you to me? He wants to make a man out of a boy. I'm already a man. In body. Let me look at your soul.
Okay, okay, already I'm up. Es que tengo tantas cosas en mi cabecita. And I got news for you. Hey, mister. You're kind of cute. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, baby. Yes. Baby, let's sit right there. Ooh, wee. Right there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Baby. Oh. That was kind of fun. Now, where's my money? I'm not playing, cutie. Where's my money? Maybe you didn't hear me. Where the fuck is my money? Hey, come back here, you deadbeat. This is the place. Cannoli, don't let it down. Try to fold on me, will ya? Now for you. <gasps> hey! Hey! Hey, what the hell? Let me go! Yo! Uh. Hey, you bastard! Mi chulito. 
I got it, I got it, I got it, got it, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. What happened to the other one, man? Little accident. Little accident, my ass. You whiny bunch of losers. How can I get anything done when I'm surrounded by inept freaks like you? A clumsy idiot, a gimp bongo beater, an overweight voodoo doll, and a mestiza nymphomaniac. You're all fired. I can find myself some new talent. At least my pit bulls are going to be happy tonight. <gasps> Wait, boss. Give me a chance. I can bring down the house with one hand tied behind my back. Let's fix you up, honey. And now, here he is at last, the world's premier congolero, ladies and gentlemen, Mano Mantillo! tell you you drive a mean getaway car? Yes. Now get out, Mr. Lowe. I've seen friendlier drivers than you, James. Not my name. Out. Who's the lucky winner? I don't exactly like being picked out of the crowd like that. Got a gag under that helmet, James? Mr. Flaxon will explain everything. Flaxon? Shit. Good evening, Mr. Flaxen. Kidnap Mr. Lowe, terrorist from the sub level. I understand you may be the one to find her and bring her back. Who is she, Mr. Flaxen? Your daughter? Yes, uh, my daughter, Melissa. 
beautiful name. Has anyone demanded a ransom? A, a ransom, no. Then why not assume she's run away? Were you and your wife having problems with her? No. Could you tell me her age? I've never had problems with the girl. She could never have run away on her own volition. Tara slow. From the sub-level. Okay. But maybe she's just gone to visit someone. Her mother, for instance. Melissa has no mother. I see. That is not necessary, Mr. Lowe. I only want you to find her. I don't mean to pry, Mr. Flexen, but it doesn't exactly look like a father and daughter in those vids. Flash your credit at any bar and girls like that are all over you like flies on shit, Mr. Flaxen. What makes her so special? You will not disparage her, Mr. Lowe. We love her. I was just asking, because it helps me to know these things. I understand, Mr. Lowe. Give Mr. Lowe a copy of the files. Just a sec, James. Mr. Flaxen, I'm going to need more visual data for ID purposes. I need full images of her body showing any distinguishing features, just in case. What do you say, Mr. Lowe, that Melissa might... We don't always find him alive. There's already a partial medical file, Mr. Lowe, with fingerprints, footprints, retinal scan, dental records. I'm going to need her sequence. Sequence? Her DNA sequence. Everything else is pretty easy to change these days. And you want to be sure you have the real article, don't you? I understand. You will have Melissa's sequence along with the results of some preliminary inquiries made by my company's private investigators. You find the case interesting enough, Mr. Lowe? Yes. There's just a, a small matter of my fee to discuss, since this is a, a case with special considerations. I will pay triple your usual fee with $5,000 up front for expenses. The advance and your first day's fee have already been keyed into your account, and if you find my daughter, bring her back to me, that will be a bonus of 100,000 New Tokyo dollars. That's, uh... That's all, Mr. Law. My personal driver will be at your disposal for the duration of the case, which I'm sure will not be very long. It will not be necessary to hear from you again, Mr. Lowe, until you find Melissa. Farewell. I can see why he wants her so bad, James. Get a load of the equipment. Shall I patch her through to your screen? That won't be necessary, Mr. Lowe. Cross-reference with random text exchanges and visual images from the no zone. Use standard variations of the name Melissa Stevens and visual reference from the data card. That will take several hours. Do it. Still working on your last request, Mr. Lowe. Yeah, sub-level terrorists. No ransom yet. Files are being accessed. Save what you find under Melissa News. Too much. 
I think I like the shoes. That man be mean to us, yo. I said oh. fuck off. Get it up, man! Come I'll get you, come oh, <laughs> Yo, Long, that's some fancy shooting you done back there. They never seem to learn. Last time was just a hand and a foot. This time it's gonna cost them a lot more. It's just that I love making business for you, see, Big. What's the touchy-feely? Oh, you got a hot one. Yeah, ain't she, though? I mean her sequence, bro. Huh? Flaxen's girl. She's got a clean sequence. No congenitals. Not prone to cancers. Easy to tailor. She's a one in a million to the grinders. How'd you find out so fast? Usually takes you a month to track a sequence. I knows, cause I knows. I tracked three jobs the other day, too. Got her sequence with grinders, trademark codes in them already. We got a liver, kidney, and repro tract. I say, you go shopping, Law. Who kidnapped her? Kidnap? No. She come down with her own file to make a trade. Knew what it was worth, too. Pretty good haggler, but she got careless at the pleasure palace. She left with one of those grinders. And her DNA sequence has been showing up ever since. So what do you say, Z Big? You go on spec this time? It's a big one. I know you clever, and I'm not cheap. Since Flax and the old moldy money, 20%. And I tell you, the store even got you an escort. 10. 18. 12. 15. 15. All you really want is a reproduction? That's all you really need? Give me a break, Z Big. Harry will uh, take you to the store. Harry, a fast boy. That's Harry, huh? What store? Mitsushiba Corp. Arcology. Shit. That's the biggest black market operation in the country. Harry gets you there, you find your own way out. No safety guarantee. Deal. Okay. Okay. Sure you don't want to leave a sample? Just in case. Fuck no. If I don't come back, I don't want a bunch of my tissues hanging around. Foolish. Your type is always foolish about that. Stinks, man. How can you stand working in this shit? What the hell is an OMS? I thought we were cracking a fucking building. This place. Shh. you. An OMS is an organic motion scan. Man, they'll blast you. Shh. Okay. Let's take a few, Harry. All right, all right, listen, you got five. But we gotta be out of here before the locals come up here, man. What locals? People live here, man. The company keeps them here. It's like, please keep them ticks like us out. Those will kill you. Everything kills you, even a good joke. Fuck. Where are we? Feels like we've been hiking for days. Another couple hours we make the lift banks. A couple hours from there, if we find that'll take a street level. Way out to cinch if we had security. Yeah, yeah. Why do I get into this shit? Hey, you already got an interest payment, low. Good credit. Stay out of my fucking finances. I'll ask you for investment advice when I need it. CB said you were touchy. Going up? Got that, Low? Yeah, I think I get the drift. No sudden moves, Low. This is total peace. Nord? Nord? All right, you guys. Let's do some friendly trading.
you think that was necessary, Harry? They always kill outsiders, man. Usually they eat them, too. Why are we moving so slow? Here they come again! Hurry, man! Oh, and that's coming up, no. Freeze! Don't you die on me. You just get me there and I'll do the rest. Uh, about time for a new liver anyway. Our floor low. Clones. Growth accelerated. Oh, man, ain't she a looker? So many. We're in the coma storage warehouse, low. All automated. It's where they keep until they get bids for parts. Holy fucking shit. How do we find the original? Come on, follow me. We've got to step this way into production. Before security crashes our party. I can't fool the AI much longer here. I got alarms going off any second now. <laughs> it's like a bomb, right? You gotta cut the right wire the first time. Pull them, man. Hurry, we're running out of time. She's what we came for, right? Let's go, let's go. She'll die, Lo. This takes time. I'm calling our bailout, Harry. Hurry. Hey, time is short, but you don't rush the artist, man. Hurry, we're out of time, Harry. Damn it, you're costing me. Let's go. Almost there, Lo. God damn it, Harry. Look me in the eye, man. Sorry, Harry.
Holy shit! That was close. That was the best I could do on such short notice, Lowe. Where to? Back to the homestead, James. Mission accomplished. Come on. Jesus. Oh. Ah. Would you just sit up? Get... What is it Flexen wants from her, anyway? Being with Melissa made him happy. It kept his mind off other things, Mr. Lowe. Time to get you home, girly. Melissa? Melissa? Melissa! You were right, Mr. Flaxen. She was kidnapped. They were planning to ask for ransom, I think. But she escaped. She got lost in sublevel. It's where all the human sewage collects. They eat girls like Melissa alive down there. Within a few hours of her escape, she was picked up by some con artist who said he was going to help her. Ended up in a wipe joint that specialized in finding new meat for the puppet fenders. She was already going crazy because she thought she'd never find her way back to you. They wiped her memory is all. I found her before she got puppet wire to drop down for a sex machine. Look, she's got total amnesia, but doesn't she seem younger and more beautiful than ever? What do you think? Should I believe him? He's very compelling. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. Thank you. Your bonus. And again, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flaxen. I, I can't tell you how much I... Go now, Mr. Lowe, before you regretfully embarrass us both. Farewell. People really shouldn't get a second chance like this, should they? You can't know what it means to me, baby, and how rich an experience. How strange and new. I'll make it for you. I'll never let the sparkle leave your eyes again. We're up at the office, Lou. Two vodka martinis and now a gin. I've got bigger problems on my mind, Raven. I'd say you've got some unfinished business. What? You're looking more than a little harried, if you know what I mean. Uh, what is it, Lo? Nothing. Nothing that can't be fixed, Lo. If it ain't working, you can always go back for a new one. Or the real one. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Charlie, what? wake up. What? You passed out in your again. What? What are you talking about? I was just resting my eyes. I'm calling you a cab. The hell? What kind of joint is this, huh? Uh, round for the house, bartender. On me! <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. Poor bastard. His liver's probably mushed by now. Some people just don't know when to quit. That's what happened to Margo. Let's do it, boys. You here, baby? Hey, Blue Eyes. You're late. Yeah. But I knew you'd wait. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe. You like it, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I like it. I thought you'd have more. We've been over this before. Times are tough. You take what you can get nowadays. It's top quality stuff. Check it out. <sighs> this stuff looks old. You're slipping, honey. If you weren't such a good kisser, I'd use other sources. I've always had what you need. If you don't want it, then get the fuck out of here. Plenty of other buyers in town. <sighs> don't get bitchy. My boot, baby. Come here. Everybody, go. <laughs> Free! Get your hands up. What is this shit, Margot? Thanks, sweetie. Could you set me up, you bitch? You said you loved me. We were partners. Let me go, you fuckers. Let go. Get you. I'll get you, whore. I swear it. I'll turn over on you. You're dead. How can you live with yourself? You make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Come on, Flatfoot. Drive me home. Then when I go check the stash money in lockup, most of it's missing. Captain, she's a total wild card. What do you want me to tell you, Ernie? I hate her as much as you do, but the Chief thinks she's a good cop. I doubt that. She probably has something on her. She's dirty, Vic. She's dealing with the perps and skimming shit off the top. I know it. I'm warning you, Ernie, as her boss and a friend, don't mess with that bitch. She's connected all the way to the top. I don't give a shit if she's plugged into God himself. I'm taking her down. Jesus, Ernie, are you out of your head? You got a beautiful wife and two months to full pension. Just sit tight. I can't do that, Captain. Fuck. All rise for the Honorable Judge Bartleson. Larceny, possession of illegal contraband, trafficking in body parts, and other counts too numerous to mention. I sentence you to life at the prison colony on Zeta Centauri. Please, Your Honor, you've got to understand. I've been set up by some crooked cops to take the fall. Margot had me under her thumb. Please. Next case. No. No. I'll get you, Margot. I swear I'll get you. You set me up. You bitch! Attention, all guards. Please prepare prisoners for shuttle departure to Zeta Centauri. Colony prison shuttle will depart in 30 seconds. Only prisoners and guards allowed at docking zone. Why, Marco? Please I thought we were a team. I've been with you since you were walking the beat. I thought we loved each other. For Christ's sakes, how could you? I had no choice. I had to deliver. I love you. Margo, honey, that's your problem. You're a liar, and you've never loved anybody but yourself. That's okay. I'll have you again. On the inside. I'll be waiting. Launching in 30 seconds. Please prepare to launch. Stand by. 
ready to depart in three, two, one. Have any idea how many people would thank me? You're a regular Boy Scout, Ernie. Go ahead, pull the trigger if you've got the guts. Uh uh, uh. not the face. Here, in the heart. Go on, little man. Do it. Shoot me. You don't deserve to go that easy. You had your chance, partner. Now let's get moving. Organ jackings are usually out by the waterfront. What are you up to? Shut up. I'm in charge of this operation. Just a routine stakeout. You remember Judge Barfelson. You got a warrant for this? I don't need one. I have personal knowledge of an impending crime. I can't be a part of this bullshit. This time you've gone too far. Asshole. <laughs> Sorry, Farquharson. I've decided to trade you in and get some new blood on the bench. Keep the shot tight. The judge likes his sex whipped. Just like his justice. <laughs> Live by the dick, die by the dick. <laughs> Just what are you gonna do with that? What's it to you, little man? You'll be lucky if I don't report you for ditching me on a stakeout. Now, are you gonna let me go, or do you want to get rough? Uh, hey! Uh, fuckhead! I'll get you, Skink Meyer, you limp dick bastard! No one fucks with Margot and gets away with it. <laughs> oh, baby. I got Margot this time. She's mine. She can't wiggle her way out of this one. <laughs> Jesus. Ernie. This, this surveillance wasn't authorized by the chief. If he finds out, you know Margot will skate and you'll be strung up. But it's Farfelson. She's trying to take him down. Get rid of it. You'll never be able to use it in court, and if anyone finds out, we'd all be doing time on Zeta Centauri. <laughs> You're on your own with this one, Ernie. I don't want to get involved. Get involved? You're a police officer, for Christ's sake. I trusted you, Vic. But she got to you too, didn't she? Captain. Everything's fine, sweetheart. I'm just thinking about some things from work. Nothing important. Come to bed, honey. <laughs> I can't. Margot reported me for walking out on the stakeout. 
Chief Ganson wants to see me immediately. Can't it wait? Why rush to the station for a lecture when you could be in bed with me? Two months to full pension. I gotta think about our future, sweetheart. I'll be back as soon as I can. You're finally gonna tell the Chief what a low life your partner is? I mean, you've always done the right thing, and working with Margot is eating you up inside. I don't care about your pension, honey. I just want to see you smile again. Go on to bed. I'll be home shortly. I love you. I love you, too. Serious. Tell me or die, bitch. What the hell are you gonna do? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Your little wimp of a husband is hiding something of mine in this rat hole, and I want it now. Oh my god. You're never gonna get away with this. You're a cop. And besides, Ernie's probably on his way home right this very minute. When he finally pulls the knives out of his back, I'll be long gone. And you'll be dead. Now where the fuck is that disc? You're just like your husband. Spineless and weak. God damn it! <laughs> you haven't got the guts, Boy Scout. Try me. <laughs> Trust me, Margo, we're pleading this one out. Listen, dumb shit, I didn't do it. Skankmeyer pulled the trigger, he's lying. He's got a lot on you. Blackmail, bribery, organ jacking. That's beside the goddamn point. Right now, I'm being framed for murder I didn't commit. Don't you get it? When Detective Skankmeyer testifies how you broke into his house, evidence by the way he has on a surveillance tape, then tied up his wife and shot her with your own gun, who's the judge gonna believe? I still got a lot of friends in this town. Call the chief or the mayor. There's gotta be somebody. You've become a public liability. No one can afford to be associated with you. I'm not serving any time, Sid. Do what you have to do, but if I serve one day in a jail, I'll get your ass. And you'll be fucking sorry. Look, Margo, I'm your attorney. Take my advice, throw yourself on the mercy of the court, and pray for a light sentence. It's the best you can do. Wait. Who's the judge? Farfelson. <laughs> I think this is yours, Judge. Now, where are my glasses? Ah. Your Honor, we both know this has been a huge waste of taxpayer time and money. Please tell these morons I'm free to go, and forgive them. 
They don't know what the hell they're doing. Sorry, Margo. You lose this time. Death by dissection. What? No! Lawrence, please expedite this sentence. Thank you. You owe me, Farfelson, you bastard! When the governor pardons me, you're going down, you blind son of a bitch! Attention, all guards. Please prepare for shuttle departure to Zeta Centauri. Welcome to Zeta Centauri. On behalf of the crew and captain of the Zeta Centauri shuttle, we'd like to welcome you to the colony. Enjoy your stay. Well, well. <gasps> Karma's a bitch, ain't it? Don't worry, Blue Eyes. I won't damage the merchandise too badly. <laughs> I'll get them all. Each and every one of them. Sit still, girlfriend. I might cut you. It's time, Margo. I'm telling you, Borden, I didn't do it. You bastard set me up. I mean, her, her husband pulled the goddamn trigger. Oh, get off me! I didn't kill her! I'm sorry. Has the governor called my pardon? Please, you can't let them do this to me. I haven't done anything to deserve this. Please listen to me. This is bullshit! I haven't done anything wrong! Sorry, Margo. Justice me. always Can serves the system. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Just take a deep breath. This won't hurt a bit. In the end, I suppose you could say Margo got what she deserved. Once Margo had a piece of everybody, now everybody's got a piece of Margo. Good morning, Judge. My, what beautiful new baby blues. Thank you, Thelma. Call the first case. As it turns out, Margo was worth more dead than alive. She should have seen it coming. Well, now those baby blues see the world from a very different perspective. Must be the one I've been waiting for. This one's on the house. That means it's on me. But I ain't offering that. Not yet, anyway. They say that romance has become a lost art. But art only gets lost when it becomes hard work. Nowadays, machines do all the work. That makes men lazy. Could it be romance is dead because it's too much work not to be primitive? Too bad machines can't do the work of romance. But can anyone love a machine? Let me tell you about a very special girl who found out. Sunset. The good people of the world flee the city. As the darkness of night descends and the spiritually wounded come out to play.
Anybody here interested in the real thing? Guaranteed 100% natural. <laughs> How about some milk on that, Jockey? Nah, my wife could smell you a mile away. <laughs> See, she don't mind me messing with Darlene here. Yeah, well, tell her you made a donation to save an endangered species. Come on, I need the cash more than this thing does. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. What the hell's going on? Nisa, get your butt in here. Get us some coffee. Hey, Nisa Lolita here, reporting for duty, sir. Hey, you're the dicks on the missing hookers case. Yeah, so? Oh, I think I can help you solve it. <laughs> solve it? Solve it? <laughs> solve it. Yeah, sure, honey. Take a look. I take a look at this. <laughs> I'll tell you what you can do. Oh, uh, hey, dear man. <laughs> you know, get back to work and quit bugging us. <laughs> oh, she's way overdue for payment. I think we need to pay her a little visit. Later, Toots. Later. Ah, now let's see what they're really up to. Hey, Jockey! Come and get it! The genuine article. Huh. Absolutely nothing. For this month's installment, Hook. Yeah, but we ain't charging you interest. Where's the dough? It's up your ass. One more crack like that and I'll take your tongue to the cleaners. Now cough it up. Business has been terrible since the sex work kind of opened. I can't compete with those virtual girls. Filthy dames pay trick tax. That's Stern's law. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Let's go fork it over. Cough it up, little bitch. Hey, leave me alone. There's nothing in here! Oh. Where are you hiding it? You asshole! Get off me, you big fat ass! Leave <laughs> <my God. laughs> you! Nobody does that to me! It's Stern's Law! Hey! Huh? Smile! What the? Uh. Hey! You get back here, you little uh. runt! Come on, she went this way. I hereby offer this tape as evidence holding these two men responsible for the massive wave of prostitute disappearances over the last several weeks. I gotta get this tape to the commissioner. Driving that cab, Nisa? Not for long, Benny. As soon as I get my badge, I'm trading in that taxi. Nisa, I just got a communique from upstairs. You're fired. What? Fired? Your headquarters access has been permanently huh? locked out. You're forbidden to come near this place again. Starting now. What about the videotape? But I know what's been happening to 
the hookers! No, no loitering. Please leave the premises and immediately, and immediately. I won't be driving a cab for the rest of my life. I'll show them. <laughs> <laughs> Place. Back to the scene of the crime. I need a ride, baby. <laughs> the sex unit is temporarily closed. There she is. Okay, found my witness. Now I need the evidence. The system's normal tonight, Darlene. You all want to come inside tonight? Uh, the, the very good, the very, very good, Darlene. The, the Darlene checks out okay. Not, not, not Kimberly. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, Matt. Go, Bloom. How long are you going to be fucking around, Danny? We got that meeting with Otaka in less than an hour. Listen, Max, you try coming down to this crummy neighborhood to keep tabs on our product. Nobody said you had to do the job yourself. Come on, Lassie. Let's fi let's finish up here. Hmm. <laughs> now, poke a hot ass. Mm, you want to make um come come Johnny? Very good around, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, wait, wait. Do I know you? Do you want to? <laughs> hey, hey, you're, hey! You're real. As real as they come, honey. How did, how did you get past your security grid? <laughs> well, excuse me. Come on, Lassie. It's all yours, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Where is that no good hooker? I want my cash. Uh, taxi. Out of the way, okay. idiot. Where to? No, no, thank you. I, I don't know what happened to my driver. Uh-huh. Where do you think you're doing? Where to? Going to MNG head office. Level 1, Block A, Suite 477. Mm. How'd you know all that? I know all about you. And I want to know more. Oh, I knew it was in there somewhere. Oh, you're good. I'm the best. You're really good. On the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Made you. Give it to me. <laughs> what the hell's going on down there? Hey, where do you think you're going? I need to talk to you. Hey, hey, what the f Don't worry, buddy. I'll get her. Who are you anyway? Hmm? Goldblum? The Goldblum? Don't you make those girls guy? Hey, answer me! Smile! Not you guys. <laughs> what did you do to him? Nothing. Oh, is that so? It's all over for you, honey. Oh, stupid dame! Oh, no! Ah, ah! God damn it! Okay, Mr. Goldblum. M&G head office coming up. Let's get to the bottom of this. I bring the new personality constructs. Ah. She renders even better than I expected. She's a star, Otaka. You can't tell her from the real thing. Virtual girls, too, will make America come in droves. Let's just get those discs copied. You can expect payment as before. They're not for sale. I want to make it a trade. Otaka, Otaka, we may render life, but you create them. Our engineers repeatedly fail to create personality constructs as realistic as yours. Our mutual dependency is what makes us strong. Don't upset the balance now. I wish only to achieve a balance. If you won't let me have the rendering program, then make me a partner. I deserve better than being forced underground. That's impossible. Look, you have your secrets and we have ours. 
As far as the public is concerned, you don't exist. Just Max, Goldblum, and our virtual girl. I'll be sending someone over for the rendering code. <laughs> someone I think you will find hard to resist. You've gone mad. The only copy of the rendering code you'll ever find is up here, right between the eyeballs. In that case, <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard to find. Consider it done. Fucking mental case. Good evening, Mr. Goldblum. Goldblum, where the hell are you? Damn it, I told that little schmuck not to... What? How the hell? Why don't you come inside, miss? Nice gazungis you got there, lady. What brings you to m and I've got something for you. And I think you've got something for me. <laughs> oh, wow! Hey! Ah! Whoa, hey! No, no, no! Whoa! Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh. Oh. Help! Security! Go, Bloom! Where the fuck are you? Oh. 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 Someone drained his brain. And his partner, Goldblum, is missing. Goldblum, huh? Look familiar, Conley. And looky what else. Put a trace on that broad's cab. But how's she doing? Ah, he won't tell us. But she will. Jeez, why is she coming down here? Nobody comes down here anymore. Nobody's sane anyway. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. ABP on checker 9G24, female taxi driver, mental terrorist, known as Nisa Lolita. Those two stupid dicks, I didn't do it! They're trying to frame me. Come on, lady, I need some answers. And I need that tape back. Okay, police girl, you gotta do this. Production successful, my master. We shall see.
Who says you can't read minds? There it is! The blood and guts of my girls! And the first class ticket out of this hole! The next time you see me, my dear, I will be one of the wealthiest men in this stinking city! <laughs> What is this? The hookers! to me. You were too good to become a virtual girl like the others. He built you into a mind-sucking sex machine to go out and steal his dreams for him. For that, he deserves a kiss. Are you gonna be okay? Oh, I'm in big trouble. Maybe I'll see you around. Well, how can I ever thank you? Don't. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Well, 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 looks like we caught us a rat. Let me go! Let's see if rats can sing. I didn't do it, I swear. I, I have proof. I know you didn't, honey. It's too ingenious a plan for a little runt like yourself. But you're the only one who knows who did. I'm going to tell the commissioner. Ah! You see, me and Conley here, we can't go on shaking down hookers the rest of our lives. These virtual girls... Stay out of jackpot, and you gotta take it to Easy Street, honey. So why don't you just tell us who did it? Oh, huh? What? I did it. You pull that trigger, old buddy, and I'll pull yours. You wanna thank me, Virus? Screw his brains out for me. Now to get this tape into the right hands. <laughs> Your disappearances. I can't believe it. He solved the case. It will only be a matter of hours before I can revive the rest of my girls. No. No. It can't be my girls. How did they get this way? That's what they want to know. Oh. Here we 
are at the top. The forces of evil don't stand a chance with me and you out there. Right, Virus? Well, what's the matter, Virus? <sighs> Nobody can love a machine, can they? You look at anybody, anywhere in this town, and tell me where the human ends and the machine begins. Everybody's so plugged into machines that there's no difference anymore. Everybody's just like you. But the metal inside of me, it, well, it feels so cold. Just wait till things heat up around here. Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So which would you rather have? Hard work, lost arts, or a well-greased machine. Pick right and you might win a more <laughs> primitive model next time. So go make up your mind and come back. Because I can do it all. Variety is the life of spice, I always say. celebrate the fringe element. Freaks and carnies on center stage are a crucible for the masses. Hard and fast, like an illicit affair. <laughs> Relax. Just an allergy. Damn. Sneezing's this week's signal. BC stormtroopers be barging in any minute. All sound and fury. Complete nonsense, but a decent act. I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. The last time the carnival came to town, my curves were just mounds and pointy angles. A corporation engineered a crisis, and the Calliope wailed a funeral dirge. Alternaceuticals, a medical research company in search of cures for an imperfect society. Our focus is the source of disease, and our goal is to eliminate the bad elements and reach a final solution. The most abnormal and alien creatures you've ever seen. The sensational Sartori sisters. Siamese twins with a double dose of sex appeal. Don't miss Benny the Boneless Boy. The most amazing mass of mutant muscle in the known megaverse. And your fine feathered friend, Stuck the Duck Boy. And now, my friends, have you ever wondered what a really big duck eats for dinner? Watch this. Delicious. I just love seafood, don't you? Great show tonight, Stuck. The octopusy routine knocked them dead and apparently got you a date. Yeah, what's the occasion? Oh, I'm just sick of this dog and pony show, huh? Spent the last six months in small dumps. Now that we hit the big city, I'm going out on the town. You deserve it, handsome. Get yourself a steak, a martini, and shake it. Make sure you check out the roost. Huh? Alternaceuticals, pharmacology, and biomedical security. Keeping your city on the hill safe. Alternaceuticals. Keeping the books and performing three sets a night? <laughs> they don't pay me enough. Handprint scan, please. Uh, ow! <gasps> Hello, Raven. I'm Bird, and you may need my help. Really? You must have telepathy. Because I just hurt my hand. You're bleeding. Here, let me take a look. I'm fine. I just want to smoke and light. 
<sighs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> Typical. Another man assuming every woman's a damsel in distress. Carnival and nightclub are rigged. Excellent. The nuclei remain stable, but the mechanical chromosomes seem to be breaking down during mitosis. Damn it. Metaphase has been corrupted by chloroform poisoning. I can't calculate the strength of the invasion, but the mutations look terminal. Damn it, that son of a bitch. You ain't gonna cook Don't touch that trigger If you're just gonna look Don't even try What you know you can't do Don't get me started If you can't follow through Don't take me halfway if you just fooling around Don't take me halfway to heaven If both your feet don't leave the ground Just fooling around Don't take me halfway to heaven If both your feet don't leave the ground that mangy troglodyte before? No, never. Roost contamination under control. Ground target neutralized. Cut off a free confirmed source. We can Utopia Bridge cleansing immediately. Alternative 
miracles. Our focus is the source of disease, and our goal is to reach a final solution. Your attention, please. A Category 5 emergency has been declared. Virus control will implement necessary safety precautions. Please remain calm. Oh my god! <laughs> Goddamn police force. Uh. Shit, that's a battle cruiser. <sighs> Raven! Hey! Sweetheart, the VC are after us. They went up a whole troop! I know. They killed the duck boy. Quick, follow me. Sensors. If it locks on, we're finished. This way. <coughs> you you feel okay? Uh uh. You. <coughs> Stay on the ground. We'll have to take the abandoned subway tunnels. <coughs> Where? You're in danger. I've got to get you to safety. Hey, I want some answers. You're hosting this disease. What? They're slowly dying, and so are you. What the hell are you talking about? And who the hell are you? How do you know so much? Alternaceuticals is responsible for all that's happened. The carnival bombing, the raid on the roof, both were staged. You'll be safe here. Bullshit! Now we all want to know what's going on here, Bird. Raven, I was chief epidemiologist at Alternaceuticals. Corbin is a chairman and a psychopath. Together we founded the company. This video will answer most of your questions. Hey! That's me! Where'd you get this? Calm down. This isn't an actual event from your life. Your memories are VR simulations. You are the sole prototype of a government-funded genetic engineering project. Your value as a test subject is priceless, and Corbett knows that. Raven, you'll have to trust me. We'll have to work together to save your lives and take that bastard down. Why me? Look, technically you're a human machine. The synthesis of biological and mechanical components has made your immune system a model of efficiency. In a healthy immune system, pathogens routinely enter your bloodstream, but they're destroyed by white blood cells. Speak English, witch doctor. The microalgae in your bloodstreams is now simply too strong for this natural process. Unless each of you has a transfusion, your current condition is terminal. What? It's part of an endgame to eliminate mutant genes from the natural selection process. Despite your eugenics, your death would confirm the strength of the alternaceuticals microalgae and trigger the plan for mutant genocide. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, this is ridiculous. It's the initial phase of Corbin's eugenic master plan. Look. This is your blood from the other night. The virus. 
Corbin's plan is bigger than the both of us. To eliminate people with anomalous genetic codes, aberrant DNA, whatever. Like your duck friend and, and the twins here. Oh my god. What can we do? There's a chance I, I can reverse the process. We have to re-regulate your metabolism via transfusion, but we'll have to get into alternaceuticals. And I'd better be right. You're starting to show symptoms. Raven, you have to trust me. You were the product of love and sacrifice, not science. Bird. What about my mother? Right before I was fired, she died. An experiment went wrong. I loved your mother very much. Hand grid scan, please. Shit! Good morning, Mrs. Good morning. Mrs. Blodgett, good morning. Stay alert. This place is crawling with armed drones. If they dish it, we'll get it back in spades. We're almost there. I hope so. We're fade fast. This machine could have been the source of healing for so many people. Shut down the machine. Think again. Bird! Back in your cage, Corbin. You bastard! You're ruining everything! Corbin, what have you done? <laughs> you created the virus. I merely improved its application. You've always been a proponent of electric shock therapy. Exploiting laboratory specimens to catalog the results of your empirical delusions. But these are human beings, you bastard. Eliminating the mutants and freaks is good science. Slowly developing an expensive cure is good fiscal policy. You sick son of a bitch. I feel different. You two okay? It's wonderful! So this is Corbin! You crazy son of a bitch! Oh. 
<laughs> well, here we are again, bird. When will you realize that profitable science always involves sacrifice? Her mother would know all about that. <gasps> we finish this now. Come on, fire We'll fry and hell together, Corbin. really safe these days these corporations and cartels are they solving our problems or creating them you know what's true what's real your own thoughts may not belong to you a seemingly innocuous thing a sneeze can change not just the present and the future but the past as well here's to you bird thanks for the 